Hi, this is Zach Mir from Master Investor with a look at some bulletin board hero stocks on Wednesday the 18th of March. And I'm starting off with Ampion Innovations where we can see that uh, it's been consolidation after the breakthrough, the 200-day moving average of 2.3 pence at the beginning of January. Uh, since then, uh, we've got progression within a rising trend channel. Uh, the floor of the channel probably runs through around the 2.5 pence level and we've had three days bouncing off that. A uh, possibility of further consolidation, which may delay the upside scenario. So be cautious on the stock. Maybe wait for an end-of-day close above the 20-day moving average of 3.13 pence. Uh, above that, we could head up to the top of uh, last year's channel at 5 pence, which is the target. And at this stage, only really an end-of-day close back below uh, the 200-day line would be regarded as outright negative. Uh, next up is a stock which I always shudder to look at, uh, given the way that it's taken so long. Uh, to base build here, uh, obviously sort of a sticky story in the recent past given with the fall in the oil price and other issues the company itself has. But uh, Bo Lehman uh, yesterday delivered the first sort of decent technical day in the sense there was a, a proper close above the 200-day moving average. Uh, that's at 33.04 pence and we closed significantly above that. Uh, probably one would want to see maybe a weekly close or a little bit more action above the 200-day line just in case it's a full storm. Uh, as we saw in uh, January or February. Uh, but the idea here is probably that as long as the shares remain above the 20-day uh, moving average of 31.31 pence, uh, they could head up to 40 pence over the next six to eight weeks. But obviously, this is Bo Lever, and this is a stock which has been particularly uh, slow to respond in terms of the uh, bull argument over recent months. So uh, it's a case of once bitten, many times shy. Uh, going on to shares which were uh, in, very much in focus yesterday on the volume front and that's uh, Noricum Gold. Well, this is interesting in the sense that we've broken out of this triangle which is on here in place on the uh, daily chart since October. Also a decent clearance of the 20-day moving average at 0 0.2 pence and we've seen time and again how break of the 20-day line tends to be the start of uh, a change of trend or beginning of a, a new a bullish move in a stock or market. There's also backing from a uh, triple tested uh, RSI uptrend line as well. So the view now is that we should at least head back towards the main resistance zone uh, since November, which is 0.4 pence over the next month or two. You can see there you also have the 200 day moving average at 0 0.36 pence as an initial target. Uh, OILX is a stock which for some reason has become uh, uh, one of my more favored situations. Uh, not, not That's not to say that uh, in the recent past, it's been uh, particularly good. You can see how the shares fell from nine pence down towards uh, uh, a penny uh, at the start of the year. Uh, big breakthrough uh, just a few sessions ago with the break of the 50-day moving average. As I said uh, a few moments ago, that can be a key trend-changing event. And uh, we've got this what looks look looks like it's going to be a 20 uh, to 50-day golden cross as well over the next few sessions. Uh, target while we remain above the 50-day line is as high as this. Uh, October resistance line projection heading towards five pence, which is also the area of the 200 day moving average. Uh, stop loss, as I said, uh, anything below 2.1 pence or the 50 day line would uh, suggest that there's something wrong in the recovery argument here. Uh, filling off, finishing off rather, uh, with uh, Paragon Entertainment, which we haven't looked at very much uh, here on the Bulletin Board Heroes, but uh, Looks as though something's uh, going on here in terms of the uh, inverted head and shoulders pattern here, uh, the, the bear trap November, December, January, uh, below 1.5 pence and then the higher low since. Uh, decent end of day close above the 200 day moving average. That's currently 2.4 pence. We closed at uh, or 2.46 pence. We closed at 2.5 yesterday. Be cautious on the shares, maybe wait for 3 pence to be clear, but it does look as though with this uh, consolidation and the clearance of also the uh, 50-day moving average that the shares are ready to make a move to the upside. Uh, probably the best case scenario here would be uh, something along the lines of uh, this, which is uh, pushed towards the one-year price channel, rising trend channel, uh, at five and a half pence over the next one to two months. That's it for me. More updates at masterinvestor.co.uk.